slide. Hi, I'm McLean Wilkinson, co-founder and CEO of NewCypher. I'm here with Michael Agorov, our CTO. NewCypher, a security and encryption platform, is body armor for big data. The amount of data being generated today is absolutely staggering. And much of it is highly, highly sensitive. Businesses not only have responsibility to protect themselves, they also need to properly manage and safeguard their customers' and users' data. Let's take an e-commerce retailer like Amazon as an example. From the moment you land on their app, you're generating hundreds of data points, what you're clicking on, what you're looking at, how long you're staying. All of that is ingested in real time, along with the details of any order you make, your name, address, credit card number, that's analyzed for insights into your behavior as a consumer and aggregated with millions of other customer accounts. This absolute explosion of data and the associated storage and computational demands is driving much of the underlying IT infrastructure into the public cloud. Organizations are scrambling to stay agile and competitive, wanting to provision new servers and new services in minutes as opposed to the weeks or hours it takes on-prem. But moving outside The bad guys will find a way in, around, or through your walls, and you will get hacked. And when that happens, NewCypher will keep your data secure. You need to embed security into the data itself, and that's where encryption comes in. But traditional approaches to encryption are like the Iron Man, original Iron Man suit hacked together with scrap metal in a cave. They have significant performance and functionality uh, drawbacks. NewCypher provides that same level of security and protection, but without the restrictions. It's like the Iron Man Mark 46 for your data. With our patented proxy re-encryption crypto system, NewCypher is able to protect data wherever it goes, both on-prem and in the cloud. We're able to guarantee that your data is only accessible by valid users. And if an unauthorized or malicious attacker breaks into your system, all they see is encrypted gibberish. We do this by embedding access controls directly into the encryption itself. Let me show you a demo of how that works. Here, we have a data engineer at a global financial institution running Hive queries to analyze financial transactions. Simultaneously, a malicious nation state hacker has broken into the cluster using root privileges obtained from the system administrator. Keep in mind, root, permit, root privileges means he has full, unrestricted access, and this is a live production data set. To verify this, we can see that the data engineer's legitimate query has just successfully completed. But when the attacker attempts to view that same data, he discovers that everything is fully encrypted. Thanks to NewCypher, even though the hacker has full permissions, the private master decryption key never enters the cluster, and all the attacker can see is encrypted gibberish. Back to the slides, please. We're a team of software engineers who've worked at Morgan Stanley and have built infrastructure tools at LinkedIn. Our CTO is a physicist and scientist for the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology, and previously worked in an area closely related to quantum computing and cryptography. We're working with one of the leading proxy re-encryption researchers in the entire world, and our technology is compliant with standards bodies like NIST and FIPS. Our founding team previously built ZeroDB, the most popular open source data encrypted database project in the world. And we are incredibly excited to build NewCypher into, into the de facto security layer for the $35 billion cloud infrastructure market. Security and compliance 
are two of the biggest blockers to the adoption of big data and cloud technology in the enterprise. And by solving these constraints, New Cypher can modernize much of the infrastructure on which some of the systems, uh, on which some of the world's most sensitive systems operate. And we're already proving this with some of the largest enterprises in the world, including multiple tier one investment banks, global technology companies, and telecommunications firms. In addition to launching our company here today, we're also announcing the availability of open source, uh, the open source versions of our Hadoop and Kafka offerings on GitHub. If you'd like to request a demo, please email us at disrupt at newcipher.com or check out our website. Thank you. All right, finish with time to spare. Judges, who wants to start us off? Uh, I can start. Oh. Okay. Uh, so congratulations on the launch. Um, can you talk a little bit more about how far along you are with some of the early clients you mentioned? Sure. So we're in pilot stage right now. The bulk of our early customers are on financial services, uh, starting to get traction in larger technology companies and healthcare and telcos as well. Uh, but pilot PSC stage. Got it. Elaborate a little bit more on the, on the competition. Sure. So there's a couple ways to look at this. One, the platforms that we support do have some native uh, data protection built in. So Hadoop, for example. Um, these tend not to be robust enough for the types of enterprise customers that we're working with. Um, other alternatives include data masking and tokenization companies, uh, HP Voltage, for example. You work before uh, at Morgan Stanley, you say? Yes. Why did you left? Why did you leave a solid job with nice <laughs> salary and Wall Street and went into this kind of adventure? Sure. So ultimately, I wanted to get back to more technical role and actually start building a product in a company again, as opposed to building financial models and pitch decks. And this is uh, your actually launching of the product, right? Uh, so we, yes, uh, launching of the open source version, uh, we've had Hadoop available for a while, and then um, Kafka is, is launching as well. So guys, this is the, their first launching of the product. You should give them a nice welcome, please. <laughs> Thank you. This was nice enough, or we should tell them to scream a little bit more. <laughs> Can't you try to do it a little bit better? <laughs> Yep. So on the key management side, uh, we actually integrate with hardware security modules. So lots of banks will use HSMs for vendors like Thales or SafeNet. Uh, we, for Hadoop, we encrypted the HDFS layer. Um, and everything is transparent to applications running on top of Hadoop. So it doesn't change the experience for someone running Hive queries, for example. And we also integrate with um, access control tools like Ranger and Sentry. So people can keep using the standard tools that they're using. So is your, is your business a SaaS, classic SaaS model? Uh, so we're not hosting anything. It's not software as a service. Right. We have term-based uh, subscriptions, um, and then also a consumption-based model for cloud deployments. And how do, you, how do you intend to go to market? Salesforce, the direct sales, or? Uh, so a combination of direct sales, which we've done to date, and then also channel partners, the big data vendors, uh, folks like Cloudera, Hortonworks, and the cloud service providers as well, so folks like Amazon and, and Microsoft. Who are your main competitors? Uh, so the data masking and tokenization companies are the ones we mo run into most frequently. Uh, Voltage, which is now part of HP. In Europe, we see a company called uh, Protegrity pretty frequently. Um, and then, as I mentioned before, a lot of the underlying platforms will have some data protection tools uh, natively. Do you run into people like CypherCloud or Ionic? Uh, not so much. I mean, we're similar in some ways to them. Um, they typically work with, with, with SaaS applications, so Cypher Cloud will intermediate between an enterprise and Salesforce, for example. Mm -hmm. And we're more focused on sort of infrastructure like uh, Hadoop and data platforms. Got it. How many people you are now? Uh, we're the two founders and then seven people total on the team. And how much money did you raise? We've raised 750 k uh, so far from Y Combinator, NewGen Capital, and, and Base Ventures. How long ago? Uh, last fall. 
ask for. Good. So in terms of those competitors, I mean, given that you have an open source version, how hard would it be for them to replicate the work that you guys have done? So certainly a lot easier now that it's open source. <laughs> um, that, if they read TechCrunch, yeah. Right. I mean, that said, uh, we do have uh, this open core approach. So we have certain enterprise features that are still proprietary and that are only available in the enterprise version. Um, additionally, if the Hadoop vendors, for example, integrated what we're doing natively into Hadoop, uh, that's still just for Hadoop. So New Cypher is meant to be a layer that sits across all of an organization's big data platforms. Right now, that means Hadoop, Kafka, Spark. In the future, that can include some of the NoSQL databases um, and potentially structured databases as well. Judging from your experience with your colleague, how you compare the American level of mathematics and physics to the Russian one? Uh, the American approach is, is lacking. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say I've been hugely impressed, uh, not only as my co-founder, uh, Russian educated and, and Russian, but a lot of our engineers are as well. So we've uh, been very fortunate in that regard. Final questions? All right, give it up one more time for New Cypher.